Flowers. I'm Elise. I'm Sarah. And we're here today from the Dismantle headquarters to bring you our next question. Who's this question from? Uh, today's question is from Bryce. He's a freshman and he has some questions that he wants to ask his professors and they've said to email them if he has questions but he's nervous about sending emails because he's a little worried that he'll just be annoying them. Yeah. So how can Bryce uh, get his questions answered without worrying about annoying his professor? I would say first, figure out what your questions are and read the syllabus. Because nine, okay, I don't know the statistics, but as, you know, a large percentage of the 160% time. 160 <laughs> percent of the time. Uh, <laughs> a question that you might have, whether it's about the class or an assignment, um, or readings, it, they're answered in the syllabus, which is great because you have this little document there. That a lot of times we've talked about this before. Mm -hmm. Professors assume that you know it maybe a little better than a little more than is realistic, but a lot more than yeah. is realistic. We think that you just pick up that syllabus on the first day, flip through it, and highlight things. And I maybe have known two students ever that actually do that. Yeah, <laughs> which is fair. That's yeah. fair. One of the things when you're addressing your professors, you should keep in mind that it's a professional relationship. Depending on the professor, it usually doesn't have to be super formal, but you should, you know, use a dear, you know, um, figure Sarah. Out how, yeah, yeah, figure out how they're addressed. So once again, go to the syllabus, for, see if your questions are answered, but also on the syllabus, their name is often at the top, and usually that's list or written as how they want to be called. Yeah. Uh, whether it's doctor or mister, mister or professor. Yeah, and I would say it's always fair to ask if they haven't actually stated yeah, how they'd like tough. to be addressed. That is a really fair question. So in your email, and you write, you know, dear mister, <laughs> um, you could even say, is that okay? How would you like to be addressed? Uh, yeah, it's good to, when you're asking your question, to say mm -hmm. what you've already done. So that it's a lot of times we're fielding a lot of questions at once and we just, our first response is like, it's in the syllabus, it's in the syllabus, right? <laughs> right. Um, but if you say, you know, dear Sarah, it was how I like to be addressed, but you could say dear Professor Bernstein, dear Dr. Bernstein, if you're feeling really fancy. Um, I have a question about this assignment. I've read the syllabus and I've looked at the lecture notes and talked to some people in class and I'm still confused about this. And that clues me in immediately to the fact that you've, you've done your, you've kept up your end of the bargain and I can also address exactly what your question is instead of something more general. Yes, that's what I was going to say. It helps me respond as a professor because I know where, it gives me more of a sense of where you're coming from. So it's kind of the art of email or letter writing where you're just, you know, you're communicating. So part of that communication is just giving, you know, your reader a sense of who you are and where you are, yeah. uh, especially in your knowledge base, and that can help you better. Right. So. One more tip is to indicate in your subject header what class you're in and what the main point of your question is. Yes, yeah. that can be very helpful, especially when uh, some semesters have had like 400 students. <laughs> So, uh, in you know, three or four classes, and it gets a little bit confusing. So, um, I think, you know, in a nice polite sign-off with your name, and uh, I always suggest including a signature or including a contact email, mm -hmm. just in case something happens, uh, you know, if I'm trying to respond to you and uh, I want to kind of contact you in some way, whether it's through your email or alternative email or... Even if I'm giving at least the wrap it up side eye. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to go from start to finish. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay, wrap it up. Um, okay, so we're going to go back to reading our books right now. I'm, um, I'm definitely reading Orientalism by Edward Said. <laughs> I'm not just holding it for looks. And we're going to put it in conversation with the history of sexuality. Michelle Foucault. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe yes. and submit your questions. We'll see you soon.